Hey guys, CP Mod here back with another video and today we're taking a quick look at another audio job. Now if you've recently switched to a new microphone or you've just gotten yourself a microphone that doesn't have a mute switch, chances are you'll be looking into a way of muting the microphone when you don't want anyone else listening in. Maybe you don't want to alt tab out of your game to go ahead and mute it to answer a call or maybe you just don't want anyone possibly listening in if you forget to leave a call. Now what we're going to be doing today is not specifically to any one brand and is not specific to any type of macro setup or anything along those lines. So what we're going to need to actually go ahead and do this particular task is actually some pretty simple software. We're going to need a piece of software known as Mic Mute and we're also too going to need to grab ourselves a piece of software to go ahead and set up some macros. So for today we're going to be using ourselves a set of Razer peripherals so we'll be using the Razer Synapse software. However with that being said doesn't really matter what brand of peripherals you're using as long as it has a form of uh, macro configuration or or something like that will be good there. Now if you're just using a standard keyboard that does not feature any macro support or anything along those lines, don't worry. Grab yourself a piece of software, something like a uh, hotkey or G key or something like that. Um, just go ahead and grab yourself a macro sort of program like that and rebind your keyboard to what you want to do in this video. But today we're going to make the assumption that you have a macro at least somewhere on your keyboard or mouse and we're going to be going down the line of that. Now another option is grabbing yourself a physical switch and housing though. With that being said, if you are using an analog microphone, so using something like XLR or 3.5mm connectors, you don't really want to be using just any old switch with that connection because you may start to introduce noise and interference from the lower quality of switches because switches are usually just for electricity as opposed to audio signals. However, if you're using a USB one, grab yourself another USB cable, splice a switch in and you should be good to go. But just go ahead and consult some uh, audio websites who know a little bit more about adding switches to audio setups because they can again again, introduce noise into your microphone setup and you don't want to be going and cutting cords if you're going to be going ahead and damaging your setup. So with that, let's jump into our computer and see what we need to do here today. First and foremost, we need to download the two programs we're going to be using. So once again, we're using Mic Mute to go ahead and actually mute the microphone and we're using Razer Synapse to go ahead and well set up the hotkey we're going to use to mute our microphone. So first thing we're going to do is open up the Mic Mute program and it is actually pretty simple. We've clicked it there and now it's down here on on our taskbar. We're going to open that up and it's going to bring up the most simplest interface ever. It says it's on and it's running. We're going to make sure it's actually connected to our microphone by hitting devices and making sure our microphone is selected. So microphone USB microphone is the one that we are using here today. And you may notice these audio levels right here. That's the real time audio levels of this particular video. And we got them here for a reason that we'll get to in just a moment. Now, with that being said, at this point in time, our microphone will not mute on any hotkey. So we actually got to go ahead and set what we're going to need. So first thing we're going to do is obviously make sure that everything is all up and running and our microphone is plugged in and then we're going to go ahead and select setup shortcut. So once we click that, it's going to go ahead and tell us to push two buttons. Now for this, we need to select a set of two buttons that will not interfere with any of our games. Now for me, I've picked the control key as well as the app key or just the one next to the right hand control key. Now I know for a fact that I don't use any of them in the games that I play and also too, I don't use any of them when using a Skype call or a Hangouts call or anything like that. So it's easy for me to go ahead and use. But for you, it will definitely be different. You could use the F keys, you could use the numpad or anything like that. But once again, I personally do use the F keys and the numpad when gaming. So I just chose control and the app key to go ahead and do that. So once it's set up, we can go ahead and click OK. And at this point, we could go ahead and push those two keys by themselves and it will mute the microphone. So what we'll do is we'll just click that now. And we have clicked it, and we're now down to the terrible audio that is in camera. If I go ahead and click it again, we see that the microphone comes back on and the audio comes back right up. Now, this stage is not going to be the most practical thing to quickly snap on two keys. I mean, if it is, then go ahead and just go from there. But for me personally, I would like one button to push to turn the microphone on and off. So what we're going to do is configure ourselves a set of macros. Now, to do this on a set of Razer peripherals, what we're going to do is open up Razer Synapse and we're going to make sure we're on our keyboard setting as that's what we're going to be using to go ahead and, well, configure this option. So make sure we're in keyboard 
keyboard as opposed to mouse, which in this particular version, we can go into mouse and all those types of things like that. And for some reason that's changed over, we're going to go into the macros tab. Once there, we're going to hit the little plus button right here to go ahead and add ourselves a new macro. We're going to rename it to Mike and we're basically set almost to go. We're going to click no delay because it doesn't really matter if there is or isn't a delay in our uh, recording and we're going to go ahead and hit record. We're then going to go ahead and hit the two keys that we want to go ahead and actually use in there and we've set up our uh, little macro. We're going to hit stop and basically we're done there. We're going to head over to keyboard once again, click on the macro we would like to use, go down here, select macros from that menu and go ahead and select the macro we just created which is known as mic. Once that's done we're going to hit save and we can see that this key is now macro 5 with the mic option. Now for me when I'm gaming I have the first three bound to like little voice commands or just voice chat things like that or even just chat commands depending on what game I'm in so it's nice for me to have an extra button just to mute my microphone. So at this stage we can go ahead and test it out. We're going to go ahead and hit the M5 key on my keyboard and the microphone has stopped working. We can see the recording, our little audio meters are no longer moving and we can listen to the terrible audio that is coming off this camera. If I hit it once again, then the microphone comes back on and our audio comes back. We get a little notification down here. And it's just as simple as that. Now, if you don't have a macro program or any macro keys, once again, you could easily grab yourself something like hotkey or G key or something like that to go ahead and set yourself up some macros. I'll even leave some links down below to some macro programs that don't necessarily require any macro keyboards. You could just rebind like the asterisk key on your numpad to go ahead and act as this same feature. Overall, this is an extremely easy and fast thing to do and I highly recommend it for anyone who doesn't have a physical switch on their microphone to go ahead and mute it as well. Maybe you want to answer your phone and you don't want other people listening in or maybe you're just a bit skeptical and don't want anyone possibly listening into your daily life and you could easily hit that key and you're all good to go. However, with that being said, this is not a hardware solution and any new computer you do plug that microphone in, you will need to jump through these simple steps to go ahead and enable it on that because it's not really bound to this actual microphone, it's more bound to this computer. However, with that being said, there is a major positive and that is if you plug any microphone in, you can now hit that macro key and it will mute that microphone as well. So it's pretty handy there and will work with any voice chat or any game that you're using and overall deliver a very easy experience to go ahead and do. And overall, that's all we have here for today. So give us a like if you like this video and let me know if you have your own way of muting your microphone through a set of macros or something along those lines. Also to get subscribed, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.